being over in America, it's such a surreal experience. Like 16 years old, um, playing under 19s, didn't know what I got myself into. Um, said goodbye to my mum at the airport, landed in Texas and then flew to Florida. So um, it didn't really sink in until our first game mm -hmm. and um, the cameras, the big cameras came out and I was, yeah, so nervous. So. Hi there, welcome to Sandy Bay Media in our first episode of 2024. We're here at Volleyball Horsham and we're going to be having a chat with Layla about her career, her journey in the game and what that's been like. Layla, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, so I've been playing the sport for about 10 years now, so I started when I was about 12 years old. Um, I played the sport out at my school to start with um, and I didn't actually really like it that much, I didn't like volleyball that much and then my brother started playing so my mum's like go on give it a crack and I ended up um, yeah being taken under the wing by Dave Berry here at Volleyball Horsham and I had the honour of representing my state um, and eventually I got to play over in America as well which was pretty cool um, but yeah that was pretty much yeah my experience. No, that's awesome to hear. And let's talk about the game. Like you said, you first started playing and you didn't quite really like it. <laughs> then you got pushed by your parents and you loved it. Take us through those early years and what that was like for you and what you learned. Yeah, so when I was younger, I was very quiet. I just, I liked reading. I was very introverted. Um, I didn't really like, you know, being around loud crowds back then. Um, but yeah, playing alongside my brother and my sister really helped to bring me out of my shell um, and being around the other women in sport as well like it was it was great to be involved with them um, built a lot of connections lifelong connections and friendships so that was great no I love hearing that and looking at you know you've gone from a player you've got involved in the committee side of things um, you're involved in sort of helping out in different aspects of the uh, organization tell us about that yes yeah, so um, it's been really great a great opportunity to be involved with the behind the scenes of the sport um, you know to be able to give back after all these years um, Dave has given us so many opportunities in the sport so to be able to really repay that now by um, you know planning for tournaments creating teams for our domestic competition running the social media um, it's been such a great opportunity and to build that platform as well so it's been good. It sounds like you've also had a great learning experience not just on the court but also off the court as well too and looking at it Oh, I just want to take uh, back to looking at the court and looking at some of your time and looking at some of the things that you're really happy. You mentioned representing Victoria, you represented playing overseas. Yeah. Yes. Um, so playing for Victoria was amazing. Um, the coaching, like I gained so much experience um, through the Vic program. Um, it was really great. Um, and yeah, playing overseas, that was also amazing. Um, you know, being over in America, it's such a surreal experience. Like 16 years old, um, playing under 19s, didn't know what I got myself into. Um, said goodbye to my mum at the airport, landed in Texas and then flew to Florida. So um, it didn't really sink in until our first game. Mm -hmm. And um, the cameras, the big cameras came out and I was, yeah, so nervous. So bench warmed for a little bit, but got to play for a few points, which made my mum back home really happy. So she got some cool photos of that. But um, yeah, it's been like through the sport, I've had so many amazing opportunities um, to travel, explore, make friends. So it's a great sport. No, I love that. And that's awesome to see. And just before we finish up, looking at 2024, what's in store for you? What are you trying to do? What's happening in your world? Um, so the main goal for this year is to um, bring back gold from the country champs tournament again so hopefully we can back it up because we won last year so we've been training hard for that so I'm really looking forward to the tournament coming up in a few weeks um, but yeah hopefully a back-to-back -back win. <laughs> that sounds awesome and we'll be here to cover it. Go Horsham! <laughs>